Hey guys, welcome to DT Daily. I'm Lindsay McCormick. On the agenda today, Microsoft's Windows 8 release preview is available to download. LucasArts makes a mature Star Wars game. Stuxnet virus made by Israel. Cricket gets a prepaid iPhone. Usher brings the hologram. And Snow White and the Huntsman opens in theaters. If you have a spare computer sitting around the house, try giving Windows 8 a try. Microsoft has released the Windows 8 release preview, its latest test version of Windows in advance of the operating system's launch in late 2012. The new version has improved performance and apps, like a working email app and a more robust app store. New additions like multi-touch gestures on touchpads, flash support, and multi-monitor support have also been added. And good news if you're waiting for a Windows 8 but need to buy a PC now. Starting tomorrow, anyone buying an eligible Windows 7 PC will be available to upgrade to Windows 8 for $15 when it arrives in the fall. Today, LucasArts unveiled Star Wars 1313, a new video game that will take Star Wars into darker territory. In the third-person action game, players will take control of a bounty hunter on a mission to uncover a criminal conspiracy in the Coruscant underworld. We'll have full coverage next week at E3. The mysterious origins of the vicious Stuxnet computer virus have been uncovered. A bombshell report by David Sanger of the New York Times reveals that the United States and Israel created Stuxnet for the sole purpose of stopping Iran from enriching uranium for nuclear weapons. On orders from the Bush administration, Stuxnet was uploaded onto the computer system of Iran's Nantaz nuclear facility, where it successfully shut down about a thousand centrifuges. President Obama then continued the program codenamed Olympic Games once he took office and further expanded the U.S. cyber war to other areas of the globe. Then in 2010, Stuxnet inadvertently escaped onto the public internet and spread to computers around the world. The U.S. and Israel have long been suspected as the creators of Stuxnet, but Sanger's report based on interviews with top-level officials in the U.S., Israel, and Europe is the first to explicitly implicate their role. Want an iPhone but don't want the burden of a costly wireless bill? Now you're in luck. Cricket Wireless announced yesterday that it will be the first mobile carrier in the U.S. to offer prepaid service on the iPhone. Customers will have to fork over $400 for an iPhone 4 or $500 for an iPhone 4S, but will only have to pay $55 per month for unlimited voice and text messaging service, plus 2.3 gigabyte of data service. A good deal compared to service from carriers like AT&T and Verizon. R&B superstar Usher is the latest performer to jump on the hologram bandwagon. According to the director of Usher's upcoming show in London on June 11th, Usher will be accompanied on stage by a team of digital backup dancers. The move comes just months after rappers Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre reincarnated Tupac during their performance at the Coachella Music Festival. For those of you who want to check out Usher's futuristic dancers, you can watch the show on Usher's YouTube page. Men in Black 3 dominated the box office last weekend with a $70 million weekend haul, but it's set to do battle with Snow White this weekend. Snow White and the Huntsman, a dark and gritty take on the classic fairy tale, is now in theaters nationwide. The film has gotten mostly mixed reviews from critics who have applauded the tone of the film but complained about the story pacing and acting, both which are somewhat uneven. That's it for today's Big Tech News. Make sure to check back with us today for our DT debates where we tackle whether personalizing the web is making life easier or making us dumber. Also, stay tuned for our review of the Olympus OMD EM5 Micro Four Thirds camera.